So I'm doing a tarot reading for myself for this week and I just thought I'd share with you what the outcome of that reading is because it's always interesting when you lay the cards out to see what they have to say for you. So obviously the weeks that have been going on have been quite hectic for our lives. We've been doing work in this digital space and my bricks and mortar business has been lovely and busy as well. But also um, there's been some challenges, just silly little pity challenges that I wonder if the cards will pick up on. So I cut them into three with my left hand and then I'm popping them back any way that I'd like to spread my energy through the cards. And I'm just going to do a quick Celtic cross layout and we're going to see what comes of this. So it'd be very interesting to see what happens here and what comes out of this. Okay, so we have the Emperor and Empress together, which is absolutely fascinating. So they, as a as a combo usually represent the masculine and feminine. So that would usually indicate in my world, my husband and myself. And we have some really good news. So this week looks like it's going to be a very full week, a full of energy, but it looks like we're going to have some breakthroughs. So that's very exciting. So I have the emperor as the main significant card of the reading. And the emperor is all about the father or the masculine part of your life. So men in your life, archaic type energy, and it really represents that. You can probably see the image there of the emperor. And it is very much a card of masculinity. So the emperor is sitting there ruling over this reading and telling us that um, systems are in place, things are happening, society is moving, things are changing, but it's re reassuring us that things are actually quite good in that space. So above that is the Hierophant, number five. So we have number four and number five. And the Hierophant is about um, teaching and learning and all those kind of schools of thought. It can be about archaic wisdom as well. Um, so it's not the most creative card in the pack, but it is all about learning and pursuing teaching and things like that. So my husband and I are working together to present information, to share information and to learn as we share information. So this is really relevant to this bigger stuff that we're working on as a collective. The Empress, the foundation of the reading is the um, female archetype. This is all about the mother and mother energy. And so my husband and I are together and the two of cups uniting us, very, very positive energy. So that's our emotional connection together. So that is us with our goal to kind of bring knowledge to the world. And that's what we're doing here in this space with Will and the world. So what it's telling me this week is that there's a fundamental change occurring. I think in society, people are searching more for this kind of connection. So I think that our, our situation here with our business and what we're building is actually going to have a shift this week in a really positive direction. So over here, we have the three of pentacles, which is us in the past doing all of our planning and our work and, you know, all of our project stuff together. And so that's already kind of been set up and we're working on that, you know, fervishly. We're putting lots of energy into this project. And then on this side of that, of us two and our teachings and our knowledge and our unity is the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is all about a spark or something new beginning or a change taking place. So wands are all about energy. So it looks like lots of energy coming into this this week, which is really, really, really good. So over down here, this is my line of kind of what's to come. We have the seven of pentacles, which is us working at our craft. It is us toiling. Pentacles is about the earthly bound stuff. It's about our resources and what we do with those. So that is the effort that we've been putting in and that is the foundation of our current environment sitting right here. But the nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles is all about us achieving a higher pillar of what we're doing here with this work. So it's reassuring me to continue to do this, present this information to do this work. And whenever we're doing something that we might find mundane and we might find uninteresting, 
turn the cameras on, share it with people. People are keen for knowledge. People are keen to interact. So that's my message. That's what the universe is sending to me. And my husband, I'm hoping, will be kicking off some of the DIY stuff this week as well. So that's where I think there's going to be some shifts is that we're really building up our channel to be well in the world the way we envisioned from the beginning over here. So the king of wands over here is talking about a fire sign male. So my son this year has transitioned from being my page to my king. So he will come out as a knight sometimes as well. But this is an opportunity coming up for my king of wands, which is my um, Aries son. So he's a wand. And I feel like there's a message coming to him, an opportunity coming to him. So I have the page of pentacles there as well. Um, so there is some information coming to him. That could also represent my Virgo son, who is in a bit of a page stage at the moment. So he's gone through a little bit of, as they do their ebb and their flow in their maturity at this stage of their life. He's only 16 and he's, he's got a birthday coming up. So it could be them collabing together and doing something. But I feel like um, my eldest is going to um, go through a more mature phase this week and my second child probably retrograde a little bit with his energy and we've noticed some of those shifts recently so um, it'll be interesting to see them interacting but I do see an opportunity for my eldest coming up um, but what I see mainly as the message here with the three major arcana cards the three major arcana cards are the emperor empress and the hierophant is that my husband and I are working in unity together and the timing is right. So we've just had a full moon in Capricorn, which pulls us back a little bit. It makes us kind of question a few things. It makes us, you know, illuminate some of those things that need changing. And I think that we have nutted out some nuts and bolts. So we've been, all of our technology is set up to a point where we can just flow and we can set things up like this and we can actually do some work and share this information with you. So it's all coming together and we're reassured by the universe that we need to keep going because success awaits us here. And we're not doing this just for material success, but the ebb and flow of us being creative and sharing our knowledge relies on us getting some kind of compensation back, some kind of um, energy flow exchange back rather than just giving, giving, giving from an empty cup. That can't happen. So we're giving from that full space because my bricks and mortar business is really busy, but we're also trying to flow with this digital stuff and trying to share some information out with the world. So the balance is starting to happen. And so I'm reassured by the universe that we're on the right path. So that gives me hope, that gives me joy. And I'm going to always listen to my tarot readings very fervently because they've never served me wrong. So my husband and I are the power here. We are the ones that are doing this and our energy is really, really positive at the moment for our vision that we had a, few, a long time ago, really. We've been planning on doing something like this in this digital space for many, many years. And so it's all been divine timing. It's all come up at the right time. And the Ace of Wands is like, okay, green light, things are about to take off, get ready, strap yourself in for the ride, basically. But we need to keep building, we need to keep working. And so I'm not afraid of the work. I'm not afraid to do that. And my husband's not afraid to do that either because we know whenever we invest our energy into something, it usually gives us you know that um, vision to come true it gives us that reward for that effort thanks for watching